Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 231 Southeast Phyllis Court here in Gresham. We're located at the front of the home off to the left of the uh, doorway. We have a four inch ABS clean out as our point of access. <coughs> I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Transitions here at 33 feet from 4 inch ABS over to 6 inch concrete pipe. And we have uh, some kind of settling or something's occurred here. We're going to try and get a better look at that on the way out uh, when the lines all drain. It looks like the, the joint has, has pulled apart there or become offset. Alrighty, here at about 82 feet out, uh, 81 feet, we have reached the main lateral. I'm going to do locates real quick just to verify we're in the street. We're also going to let the line drain out here. We're going to clear, try and clear some of the debris out of the line. There's quite a bit here right at the end. Uh, we'll, so we'll see if, what it looks like all said and done after that. So I just pulled the camera back, and by the way, I located the camera head at the main lateral on Phyllis Court. Uh, I just barely pulled it back from the main lateral connection there, and my camera has bored a tunnel through like a solid bunch of debris sitting in the line there. Um, so it, it's really hard for me to tell if there is a belly here in the line or if it's just debris buildup. I'm going to recommend, I'm going to run the camera back through here one more time and see if that 
Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to hit that debris there and gunk up the lens. Uh, either way, the line needs to be jetted out here, and then I would have the drain clean guys run a camera back through. Uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to tell if we've got standing water here or just a bunch of debris damming up the pipe. Because uh, there are some really large chunks of debris there that are three, four, or five inches across. It's, there's a lot of stuff. Now this is another spot here where that, that big bunch of debris there is spanning the entire flow line essentially um, and could also be the culprit behind the standing water here. Another spot where, um, and, and we might have a very, very small standing amount of standing water in, in those two spots, um, but if you're, if you're flushing giant wads of toilet paper and paper towels and cooking grease down the sink, stuff like that, um, it, it's going to hang up in those bellies really easily. Stuff that shouldn't go down the sewer lines. Um, very easily hang up in, in even very small amounts of standing water. Another spot here where we have a very, very thick uh, debris buildup. That's one, two inches thick there, right in the flow line. So definitely need to uh, do a hydro jet. It looks like right here this joint has become separated and a little bit offset. It's hard to say if that's letting water escape the line or not. We can't see into the joint there to see if it's open to the ground. We have standing water sitting at it, so my guess is it's probably, for the most part, sealed up. Um, otherwise that water would probably leak out, but you can have leaks where the water ends up saturating the, the leak for the time being and the water will stand. Yeah, I located the camera head here. We're in the front yard area, about two, three feet from the sidewalk. Uh, I'm going to do another set of locates just to double check the depth. I'm getting some kind of big variances there and some depth. And you can see at this point how that water has dissipated. So it does appear to be open to the ground. All that standing water is now gone. So I do recommend a repair here to correct the joint. As if it's, it's offset, separated and enough that it's letting water escape. And then everything else beyond that point, uh, we can't tell at this time what kind of issues they are and how severe they may be uh, due to the amount of debris in the pipe. So it needs a hydrojet and then a rescope to uh, go back through there and see if we have any significant underlying issues uh, associated with all that debris buildup.
Yeah, we just sent the toilet flush down to clean the camera lens off. And I would uh, contact the city of Gresham if there are any issues out in the street um, or in the sidewalk area. There's a very good chance that uh, those issues would be the city's responsibility. And I'm just about to reel the camera out of the line, kind of as an overview here once again. We have a, uh, for sure, uh, recommendation of a repair at 34 feet. And I need to push back out and relocate. I just remembered that and double check the depth there. Um, anyway, we have a, a repair to do at 34 feet. It's an offset and separated joint that is allowing water to escape. We, we were able to see that. Uh, we had water standing there, and then it did escape the line probably only about two minutes after just leaving the camera sitting there. So... Um, we would recommend fixing that. It's in the front yard marked with a white X. Uh, I'm going to push back out and double check the depth, but currently we have it at 5 feet 4 inches deep. Uh, and then everything else beyond that point, uh, which is basically from the sidewalk out to the main lateral, we have, uh, I think, four different areas with a lot of debris buildup and standing water. We need to hydrojet the line, clean all the debris out, and then rescope to see what if we have uh, underlying issues underneath that that need to be repaired. And I pushed out here to 28 feet, which is uh, about oh six seven feet short of the uh, where that separated joint is at, and I got a depth there of four foot seven inches deep. So that five foot four marking does make sense. Uh, it would it would grade down and drop down that much in that span of distance. So just wanted to double double check the depth there. And again, that is in the front yard, uh, about two three feet before the sidewalk area, marked with the white X. Um, from that point forward, uh, basically all the other issues or possible issues would be uh, from the sidewalk area and out into the street. And again, recommend a rescope after any uh, drain cleaning as well as re any repair work that may follow drain cleaning uh, to double check the drain cleaning and repair work. But all the ABS pipe there was in good condition and flowing properly. Uh, it's that concrete pipe uh, that we have the concern about. 